Hi. And welcome everyone to the Flatlands SMP. My name is Zenter. Alright guys, I I seriously have a good plan for this episode. In episode 10, we're going to be working with villagers. So James has already kind of done this. He's gone ahead and got a lot of these new villagers here and unlocked all their trades. Now I appreciate that he's done this. I think I can do it better. And that's not to say that James didn't do this well. I want to try the technique that you use. Kill this guy basically with a zombie like three or four times. And then all of his trades uh, will be super discounted. Hopefully we can pull that off. Uh, and then get some kind of villagers like this with mending and instead of 30 emeralds, one. Also, this trade is kind of OP. Is glass pane for emerald. If we can get that down to one glass pane for an emerald, that means six sand equals 16 emeralds. Yeah, we, we're, we're literally living in a gold mine or an emerald mine, however, however you want to put it. I have already decided on a location to start. We're going to be making a villager breeder to start off and then throwing them into a trading booth. The location I've decided is up in this corner of the circle, right where those chests are right there. So it's pretty close to the iron farm, but it shouldn't interfere, I don't think. I just wanna start filling up this side of the base. So I suppose it's time to start gathering some resources and then putting together the village breeder. So guys, something horrible has happened. When I came back from my trip, I noticed that, well, I shouldn't say I noticed, I discovered that the website I use to listen to audiobooks has been put offline. I shouldn't say that either. Basically, I, I can't get the, the tracks to play anymore, which probably means that the site's pretty much been, I don't know, caught. Hey man, I, I was using pirated audiobooks. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not paying $15 a month for Audible to listen to one book. Yeah, it, it's sad. I mean, which means I don't I don't have any way to listen to my audiobooks anymore unless I try and learn what a uh, torrentine is. And man, my, my brain hurts just thinking about it. I am so off the mark today, guys. I completely forgot to mention that I finished the sugar cane farm from last episode. Yeah, it's it's all done, completed. As you can see, it has actually fully grown as well. Got all three layers done. And I added the decorative bit around just to give it a little bit more of finality. Yeah, I think it looks fantastic. I heard that. Did you guys hear that? Hey, it's Drowny. He lives. He caught this guy like three or four episodes ago. Apparently he's still, he's still, you know, just chilling. So this design I am building is not my own. Obviously it's pretty popular design. Uh, this was made by Impulse SV. I just noticed there's a village out in the distance that way. That could be convenient. I need my elytra. I need my elytra. Well, uh, I didn't know this was here. I, I I, didn't know this village was here. I didn't... This is a ghost town, right? I think this is the first time I've seen the ghost town. Oh, this is weird. So we're not going to find any villagers here. There's just going to be cobwebs everywhere. Clay. I didn't think clay was a block we could get. I completely forgot about it. What? How... How did a bee get over here? Dude, you're a little lost. Seriously, the base is like a hundred blocks that way. This bee has been on a mission. Doesn't look like we're gonna have any luck uh, getting villagers over here, so I'm gonna have to steal them from James. Which is easier said than done, because these guys are not in uh, the most opportune of places. Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna have to get this guy to be the farmer, because he's the only one that is a farmer. Everyone else has been traded with at least once. Okay, so that's set up. All I should have to do is that, uh, which should push up our villager. Nice. Dang it. How'd I manage that one? Oh, nice. That was easy. Dude, the villager gets to sleep. Why can't I sleep? What a scam. Wait, what? Oh, did did Drowny grow up? Guys, I didn't think this was possible, but... I mean, he's not named, but he's holding the same... No, Drowny holds an arrow. <laughs> I, okay, I guess Drowny just got an adoptive parent. Oh, this is really weird. I was gonna say, I didn't think that drowns or dead or mobs anyway could grow up. Ah, uh, nope. Just kidding. You don't have freedom. Dude, I need your masterful farming skills. Come on. How am I taking damage? 
was that? So the farm should be ready to go now. Just kind of have to wait for it to kick into gear. So I'm going to AFK here for a bit. Hopefully we get some uh, young lanes. Hey, we just saw a baby get born there. Uh, that will be number four, actually. It's working! The breeder is actually freaking working. Uh, so I guess the next step is to set up the, the trading hall. Unfortunately, I don't have any sandstone. We did all that digging last episode, and I said that I was very happy that we got a bunch of sandstone, and then I used literally all of it in the same build. Well, all of it except, like, this. We got nine stacks and 15 left, and I've smelted it all into smooth sandstone. Hopefully that will be enough. Let's go ahead and grab some workstations. Mainly, we're gonna want lecterns. I actually need ender pearls. Come on. Die. Nope. I'm really hoping James Patton and I can get to the end pretty soon here just so I can get my elytra. Shulker boxes would be kind of a dream come true as well. So I'm not going to make this fancy automated redstone-y, you know? I'm probably just going to manually put in each villager into their slot. Did I really not bring wood? I'm a genius. Are we still able to trade with them in that situation? I just feel like that protects them more. Also, it looks cool. <laughs> okay, so if we can have a design like this, that mean meaning if we can trade with the villagers from there, this would work perfectly. We could have a sign right here that tells you exactly what their trades are. Yeah, this is going to look really cool tiled like that as well. I feel like the floor will have to be at least five uh, wide for it to be like a, a good hallway. I don't know what it is with me always using these iron blocks and builds now but man it is so fun to just flex your wealth like that like yeah we have so many iron blocks we might as well just use them in builds this will work fine yeah i like this design so i also got this stuff that i want to try the smithing tables for tools so hopefully we can get like a good pickaxe or something uh, the blast furnace is for armor so hopefully we can get a good armor trade and the cartography table is for that glass pane trade so, out of all the Enchanted Books, we really only need Mending, and Breaking 3, and Silk Touch. The rest we don't really need. That, I mean, we don't really need, uh, unless, you know, we find one. Those are the four actual Enchanted Books we need. We do need all four of these Cartography guys, so we might as well throw them in. So, let's finish off this building, and then start getting Villagers in. The Village Breeder's been kicking off, and I have as well, actually. I've been reconstructing... Uh, our template here for the villager trading hall and I've been building a proper building right here Okay, so we'll probably change up blocks at some point like in there uh, But that should work for now so We did it. <laughs> I finally finished uh, The trading hall building one little problem as you probably noticed there seems to be an, <laughs> a mob invested infestation Jeez mobs on this server are so bad at night because there's just nowhere else for them to spawn. So it's it's literally like the worst it possibly could be. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. We don't have slimes. Anyway, we should probably fix the lighting issue. So the only way I think I can do it is to just add another pillar here. And then just probably put torches. Also, this balcony was a decent idea. And I think it makes the, the build look nice outside. It's just not very practical. So I'm going to have to bar it up for now, just because it's not working. Mobs can get in this way, and I'd rather not have the risk. I hope that will be enough to prevent them from climbing up the staircases. And okay, the building's done. We have villagers. We just need to get the villagers in the building. And hopefully we can lock in a few actual good trades. So guys, I want to use a technique to make the villagers uh, give me discounts. And that's just to, to kill them with zombies and then heal them back up and they should give me a discount. I think I mentioned that earlier actually. I specifically want to do it with the glass panes guys and obviously if we can get a mending guy. Alright, but first things first, we have to build cage, uh, a trial, a judgment cave, if you a cage if you will. We're going to try and give the villagers their trade first then get the discount, then put them in. In that order, just so I don't have to build a specific section here uh, to unleash zombies, you know. That could be more trouble than it's worth. Okay, if everything works according to plan, this should work fine. Okay, we got a villager. Okay, let's just get him there. 
Mason. Why is he a Mason? Oh, maybe he's locked onto this? I haven't traded with this guy. There should be no reason he's a Mason. I should probably get emeralds. That would be smart. I need food as well. So, might as well go back to the base. Now, I'm not certain how this villager trading works, but he should be a librarian now. Cool. Oh, wow. Fortune 3, first, first book. Uh, I'm not a super big fan of that. I don't want that. So, I think what we have to do is just block him off. Pick this back up. Place it back down. And, yeah. Yeah, now he's a new, <laughs> new trades. Uh, no book. We're looking for mending. Yeah, this is actually quite a efficient method. Impaling, nah, thanks. <laughs> Just being able to reset their trades like this. How do you? Not, how is it hard to get mending villagers now? I feel like I'm gonna regret that statement. I only say so because I've seen a lot of people struggling or saying that they're struggling to get a mending villager, but this is actually a really easy method. So I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Oh no, I punched him. Well, that was an accident. Hopefully all these guys don't hate me now. Alright, well, this guy won't change his profession now for some probably to do with the night, the, the time of day. But, uh... Did he really just become a cleric from those all the way over there? Stop being a cleric, you dummy! You've never been traded with, there's no reason. Yes! We got one! Mending! Okay, let's lock this guy in. No! 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 <laughs> Why did he do that? Why did you change? I hate you so much right now. Oh my god. Had I been faster. Had I been faster, I'd have him right now. Oh my We got him again. We got him again. Okay. I locked it in quickly that time. Okay, that wasn't actually that far off from the first time, so that's lucky. It is 10 more emeralds expensive, but we should be able to dumb that down. Now we need a zombie. Okay, I don't know how many times we're going to have to do this, but I'm prepared to do it at least 8 times. That should force his pathfinding. Uh, I can drop him into the hole. We can take it out. This is Master <gasps> Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Oh, I figured out how to make my holocron talk. I've been trying so long to figure out how to make the, the holocron from Galaxy's Edge speak. If you want to hear more about that trip, I made a video on it. It's called James the Douglas, for, uh, meeting James the Douglas, parentheses, road trip, and Cape Corps Marathon 2020, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that was a fun trip. Uh, I briefly mentioned it in another episode, but yeah, go. I, I talk about it more in depth there. I knew nothing about cat skins. This might be the rare one. This might not be. I only say that because I've never seen this kind of cat before, so... Yeah. Huh. Never noticed before, but it seems like only husks are gonna spawn. Oh, <laughs> I say that and then I see a zombie over there. Alright, time to die, dude. Okay, should be that simple. No, 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 no! Okay. That scared the crap out of me. Oh, did he climb up there? Oh my gosh, this guy. Hey, dude, come here. Okay, he's dying. And he's a zombie. Hi. Come here, dude. Take one of those. One of those. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I think there's some entity cramming going on, because I just heard a bunch of villagers take damage. <laughs> oh, that was funny. They just all, like, blew up. The villagers in these, in these pods, I think, should be completely safe. But man, I'm so nervous now. <laughs> that I, I just don't want to have to replenish my villagers ever. I just want them to be safe for the first time. All right, zombie number two is here. This is just easier than... Whoa, wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he tried to flank me. Okay. 
Ow. Sir. This zombie man. Are you kidding me? Has he still not turned him? Oh my god. The zombie is useless. Kill him! What are you doing? Guys, what the heck is this zombie doing? Well, I can't leave the area. I get that he's tracking to me, but I can't leave the area because uh, he might despawn. Not the zombie, but the villager. Just need to kill the normal zombie now. Okay, got him. Okay. Curing him. Okay, guys. He's healed up. Moment of truth. <laughs> One emerald. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just bought twelve mending books for one emerald each. Oh, what? I thought they said they patched this. So, I can buy now bookshelves from this guy, right? I just bought eight bookshelves for eight emeralds, right? Okay, so I just bought 24 books for 8 emeralds, and now I should be able to and trade them all back for more emeralds. Oh my goodness, my prized possession is this villager right now. Uh, he, we have to pay 7 emeralds for a name tag, but I don't think that's too big a deal. Oh no. <laughs> that should probably be more mending books than we'll ever need in the entire server's history. <laughs> it's just funny to think about. I pretty much got all that for free, too. Alright guys, I want to do one more villager like that. And I mentioned it before, so it should come as no surprise to you. We're going to be doing the cartographer. Okay, and also this guy, we shouldn't need to trade with like we have before. We just need to unlock his glass trade. Okay, he does have it. 11 glass panes for a single emerald. We're gonna hopefully bump that down to one. Well, this guy changed quickly. And, uh, man, it's only five. All right, well, I was really hoping that would be one, but I'm just gonna have to live with five for now, uh, because this is gonna be the end of the episode. And wait, did, did, did you see that? What? Bruh, how'd you even get up there? That could break the farm. Okay. Um, yeah, this guy's just gonna die now, and that's his fate. So thank you guys for watching this episode of the Flatlands SMP. As always, go check out the Kcore channel for group content, uh, as well as James's channel and Patnat's channel, maybe, uh, if they're uploading single-player content. I have been Zenger, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.